question. How many hours of flight time do you have with drones? Zero. Zero? So this is your first flight. Well, we haven't flown yet. My drone? <laughs> well, this ought to be good. Mm-hmm. No clickbait here, but we're doing this safely. As a Fire 107 pilot, I am overseeing the operation and I'm giving training to this person. What do I press and how do I press? Oh, look, we're gonna, we're gonna give you that training tutorial here. Mm -hmm. They are getting training on the controls before taking off and I'm supervising the operation as it happens. Additionally, did you know that if you subscribe to my channel, a new DJI app comes out and I can test it and we can get new functionality using the SDK? Skybrush is in beta, so I wanted to see how easy it is for a complete beginner to get into drone map. This person has never flown a drone before. These are the two sticks, all right? Okay. So your left stick, if you go up and down, you're gonna go up and down. Okay. If you go right and left, you're gonna turn. Right, okay. And then this is turn, this is movement, but the front of that is forward. And that's the difficult part. The front of all, the red thing or the- The front of the thing? drone, this one. Okay. Okay. So the red forward. So first we're gonna learn how to take off real easy. Grab both sticks and move them into the, right where this thing is. Grab them both and pull them towards that. There you go. Let go. And now, go up. Oh, now, let go. Let go. That's it. It's gonna, the thing about it is, you have CPS, so I'm not gonna fall out of the sky. Mm -hmm. Nothing is going to happen unless you tell it to do it. I'm okay, gonna no, open up sky brows. Okay. Oh, there you go. It's told you now. So, get up to uh, 80 feet. Let's turn your height there. Punch it. Oh, it's not gonna fall out of the sky. These flights were taken over 40 minutes using the Mini 2 and Air 2S on a Pixel 4a using hand. The good news is this amazing beginner-friendly experience is very reminiscent of the DJI Go 4. And support for almost every DJI drone, including the Mini 2, makes this extremely versatile. Bad news is there's some rough edges on this radar. However, at the targeted price, I did have my expectations set a little higher. Giant hill. So point your drone in that direction, climb up a little bit, and get over there. Am I good enough? Huh? Am I nuts? No. Yeah, I got the sun in my face. You got what? I got the sun, so it's becoming very hard to see on the camera. Okay. Is there like a, like a mode here? Now, the uh, on this side, there is the gimbal control, so you can look down. Where? Here? Yeah, that wheel will move the camera up and down. Oh, that's sweet. Ah, What's better? I got a whale for the sun. You are trusting me too much with your drone. Why? I don't even hear it anymore. Well, that's kind of a thing. Now, you should. I don't even see it anymore either. Should we take line of sight so I can't? You see that tiny little speck? That's the drone. No, my eyes are. How do you guys see it? Yeah, I pinpointed it. Good. Now, put yourself. Now, what you can do is use the wheel to put the camera right straight down mm -hmm. and then move over the hill. Obviously, you should climb up a little bit. And then use the start for them. Now, you're way, way away from anything. There's nothing there, okay? You can see that there's no buildings. There's nothing that should get in your way, right? So, it's right there. This one is a skill, isn't it? When you're looking, what you're looking for is if you're not moving, it should be the thing that's not moving, right? That's that's the that's the skill that you need to learn, right? So okay, climb up a little bit a little and bit. get yourself center over the area that you're asking. The DJI Mini 2 was completely controllable. However, upon reaching the target area, the app crashed as soon as recording started. We tried twice and crashed both times. The Air 2S behaved fantastically and was able to complete the one minute flight, mapping the tropical park hill as expected. Press the start button, and if you look over there, you will see that the drone has begun doing something. Flight. So if you come over here, you'll see that it's begun capturing data. Now, the most important thing is to keep your eye on the drone. This is the emergency stop button on the side of the side. Oh, we went away. Crash. 
Oh, no, it's, it's okay. This is a best of yeah, question. Ooh, yeah, that's crashed. It's okay, I'm sure he's using crushing your voice. Supposed to do two. Um, zoom in. Do two. It's supposed to be. Uh, it's supposed to be. It's supposed to show you. Yeah, there it is. It. The app was responsive, but had some issues that could be problematic. On my Pixel 4a on Android 12, the touch point for the configuration just wouldn't work. So I couldn't adjust from meters to feet. And unfortunately, the app kept saying that I was, you know, 300 meters in the air, even though it was feet. Um, this could be confusing, uh, but I did verify using DJI Fly that it was just an issue there. I'm going to bring it down to around 120 meters. I don't think that's accurate. Now, after wrapping up, even though I had LTE and Wi-Fi at home, I was not able to upload my model. I had to sign out of the app and sign back in to be able to get access to upload the model. However, after I uploaded the model and then put the video on the website, it worked perfectly and I was able to get a result in under a minute, uh, which for photogrammetry or videogrammetry, which is what they use, for their terminology is amazing. Um, this is probably one of the fastest ways to get a 3D model. If you're a complete beginner and you have no knowledge of 3D mapping, this is amazing. It removes a lot of the complexities from drone deploy and the fact that it has support for Mini 2. As we saw in a previous video, there's only one app that supported 3D mapping with the Mini 2. This makes two. This is amazing. Almost any first responder department or or police station or firefighters could afford a single Mini 2 for you know for, for usage in, in investigations and in accident recreation. So this is amazing. The pricing is a bit steep here, but I do think the value is there once these rough edges are worked out. I am very much looking forward to when SkyBrowse gets out of beta, once it gets into a more functional state and it's available to everyone, whether or not the pricing is gonna change a little bit or it's gonna stay the same. It is pretty good. Uh, I did like the speed of processing here and I did like the simplicity. You didn't have to set up anything. You just flew over to the area and pressed the button and just did the thing, which is exactly what we want.